Hello and welcome back. Wow, we are much lower down than we were a minute <laughs> ago. We need straight. to sit up straight. We've been getting away with slouching up until this point. We have the final round of Swiss for you Ooh, guys wee. here. This is winning in territory. This is all the marbles. Well, it's not all the marbles. This is your chance to pick up all the marbles. That's <laughs> what this right now. Uh, Sean, what do we got coming up for the guys? Oh, well, so we have uh, Harrison Shaw is rejoining us on the stream uh, from the previous round. Um, Katsu player played an excellent game in that last round, but just wasn't able to secure his uh, position in the uh, top eight. And we have, I believe he's up against a teammate, Declan Patrick Azalea, um, playing Azalea eight and three for today. So both players still looking to confirm that position in the top eight. So I'm very much a teammate on teammate action, something that we don't normally like to see, but it's what they've got to do to secure that position. Yeah, and both of these players trying to get into the top eight, trying to secure it. That's what it's all about in this final round of Swiss. There's so many great games that we could be bringing you, so many stories that are going on in the room. People trying to get into their first ever top eight over UK mm. Nationals, trying to get back there again, trying to secure that world's invite that you get for finishing in the top eight. So, we can only bring you one game on stream, and we decided why not bring Azalea. Imagine Azalea winning an inning for a top eight of a big nationals tournament a couple of years ago. But right now, it's going to be all that. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. We're going to see whether it's going to be Katsu or whether it's going to be Azalea that takes down this game. Uh, I can't wait. I really love, I thought the, the Harrison played it. Was it Harrison? I don't know yeah. getting my Har name. Harrison, Harrison had an absolutely Harrison, game, but just uh, didn't quite Nathan, confirm Nathan, guys, names are hard after you've casted. 12, uh, 12th round. This is the 12th game. Someone's saying take a break. Yeah, we don't There's no breaks. breaks. We've got imagine we're, a we're, break. We're imagine a break. Yeah, the break coffee is going acquired. to the coffee and coffee uh, going to the coffee stop and getting a coffee and then running straight back to the table because we want to give you guys the best possible content that we can. Absolutely. Anyway, let's do some cards to watch for Azalea. Sean, why don't you run through these ones for me? So Azalea, cards to watch for this game. We first of all, Red in the Ledger. We're going to we're gonna take this all the way back to Arcane Rising. Le Red in the Ledger and Azalea uh, specialization. Um, coming in for five, cost one. Obviously, it's an arrow, arrow attack. Um, and if Red and Ledger hits a hero, they can't play or activate more than one action uh, during their next turn. Obviously, this is going to be a, a big card for uh, for Azalea to be playing into um, Katsu as they're looking to do those wider turns. We've got Remorseless as well. Again, another one for five. I mean, all of these cards, one for five, it's, it's great value. Blocks for three as well. If Remorseless is put into your Arsenal face up until the end of the turn, defense reactions can't be played from Arsenal to Remorseless' train link as well. Whenever they activate more actions, uh, action cards, they, they lose additional life. So really preventing that go wide strategy that Katsu is looking to uh, execute. And then finally, Spire Sniping, able to look at the top cards of their uh, deck um, and then put them in, back on top in any order. So really looking to manipulate that deck and pull out their i mean the other the other cards really they're looking for those other cards remorseless and red and ledger and other uh threats as well um but taking us back over to uh katsu we saw an awful lot of um his threats in that last game as well he was able to utilize or, or at least he was able to play out the the dishonor as well something we're not able to to see an awful lot uh, yeah and i think we saw some really interesting cards in the uh katsu list someone saying no no red spies in his deck well you never know would you imagine to see a pummel in a Katsu deck? Because that's what we just saw. Exactly. Uh, but I'll take Levi's word for it. Uh, but we are seeing a very interesting Katsu deck. We have seen some cool cards being played in Harrison's deck. Uh, especially that cheeky little one-off pummel. Did look like it was just a one-off. Not sure if he's going to play it in the Azalea matchup. Maybe just a card to break through those more controlling decks. Um, but you never know. When you got a pommel, right, you got to play it. Uh, but the other thing that I was really interested to see in Harrison's build was um, the Concealed Blades, just as another way to go over the top uh, to try and get that Katsu trigger. Again, not 100% sure if he will play that into Azalea. Um, probably thinking that Azalea was not going to be blocking as much. Um, and yeah, we will try and bring you all Harrison Cam again at some point, though probably not for quite as long as we did the last time. Okay, so we're just letting the player set up here. This is obviously a very, t uh, very, you know, this is going to be a lot, a big tense game. Uh, both of these players trying to make sure they get into the top eight, try and secure that win. 
absolutely. We see players reveal their equipment here. We have a... From the Azalea play, we have uh, Death Dealer. We've got Tunic. We have the Cross Wrap. Perch Grapplers. And brave uh, Braces of Belief. So looking to push through yeah, additional so damage. Of belief, now the Bullseye, belief. Bullseye Braces has been um, suspended due to the power of that card from Lexi. We have uh, our swapped in Breeze Rider, uh, uh, oh, the Brave Forge Bracer as well. It does look like the stream is just uh, frozen for a second, so we're going to try and bring that back to it. Um, so both players here looking to, uh, again, confirm their position in the top eight. Uh, we brought you back, Harrison, because he's currently the, 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 the top seed who is not locked for top eight. So we wanted to give you guys a win and in. Also wanted to feature Azalea on the stream. Yeah, we could have brought you table one, but both those players are already locked for top eight. So we decided to bring you this one instead, which is the reason why we have this matchup. It's also kind of an interesting matchup. I do like to see Katsu into Azalea. Normally Katsu um, can do some crazy stuff, but Azalea is pretty good at locking that down. And yeah, just working on bringing the table back for you guys. Um, currently, it is frozen on our screen. Assuming it is frozen on your screen as well. Uh, we'll just be working on bringing that to you as soon as possible. They, they are, are indeed, indeed fighting, fighting for, top for top eight. Absolutely. Eight and three. They're looking to secure that ninth win of the 12 rounds in order to confirm their position in the top eight and all players here on day two looking to do as well as possible off of the back of uh, a very successful um day one uh to really secure as much prize money as possible yes lubosh we 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 have got a frozen uh, at the moment but we're just looking to secure that and bring that back for you baz the bard working hard to to keep showing cards on stream so that we can see the cards that are being played try and keep up with the game at least just a little bit bear with us whilst we iron out our technical issues Yeah, a few updates from the room. Um, we, I think currently Jamie Faulkner uh, hasn't managed to convert uh, any wins this morning. I think he's still sitting on eight wins from yesterday. We were trying to work out if Jamie was to go zero and three this morning, though, whether his standing from uh, yesterday would mean that he crept into the top eight as the only X and four. Um, on top of that, Sharif is also going for a win and in. Uh, uh, that would be Shingo to those that know him with that name. Uh, he is currently going for his win and in right now, playing as Lexi. Uh, Hamish, unfortunately, was not able to convert today. Uh, did lose his first game of the day this morning. Uh, still gunning for that top 24. Absolutely. Matt Folks as well, very much up there. Hello and welcome back to the ready, UK ready, ready, Nationals ready, ready, ready. 2023. Thank you for sticking around whilst we were resolving those technical issues. As I said, sometimes... Being on location, bringing you these live um, events can come with technical issues. So thank you for sticking around. Declan Patrick here, eight and three. Harrison Shaw, eight and three. Azalea versus K Katsu. Both players looking to secure the final win. They need that ninth win in order to make top eight. And the players were uh, asked to pause the game whilst we were resolving those issues. Katsu here coming in with the bonds of ancestry blocked out by the command and conquer from Azalea coming in with a fluster fist to finish off the combat chain so before this game kicked off we were looking at some cards to watch Declan Patrick will be looking for cards like Red in the Ledger, Remorseless, and I believe has a deck stacked with Spire Sniping as well. There's a Red in the Ledger, one of those cards to watch, exactly as we said. And Harrison's going to think, does he has he had the deck space in order to include some defense reactions to do with these Red in the Ledgers? 
And, and Declan's just gonna gonna keep pumping these um these ledges as much as he can, secure those on hits, make sure that Harrison cannot do these big wide turns that he really wants to do. Lace with frailty, presenting that red and ledger. Plus three. If it hits, create a frailty token. And Trip, why why will Harrison not like the thought of those frailty tokens? What are they going to be present? Uh, I guess what are they going to be preventing in this game? Just means the Kadachis will will be going up a zero. Essentially, turns off the Kadachis for Harrison. Those frailty tokens. As we saw in the last game, Harrison really utilised those Just throws Kadachis. At it. Yeah, no point in, don't want that. Um, not taking any damage when you're not going to be able to do anything on your turn anyway. Harrison really just throws his entire hand at it. Draws back up. He's also got that card in Arsenal. So when he does get an opportunity, he'll be hoping to clap back, I'm sure. Declan utilising that cross wrap to reveal a card in his Arsenal. Looks at the top card of his deck. And see, I think a codex of frailty in his hand there plays so, out the so knock. So being able to get a red in the ledger out really early is going to be super good for Declan because it now means that he has a great target with codex of frailty to bring back with that red in the ledger. I'm a little luck here. Here we go. Just giving the deck a little shuffle. So Declan's picked out a bolt and shot there. Red bolt and shot. Obviously if it's if the attack is buffed, then it gets go again. And if it hits, we can reload. So really activates some wider turns for Declan. Uses the crow's nest to add a aim counter to that Bolton shot. Plays out a lace with blood rot, pumping that Bolton shot to seven. Again, is this, is the, how would Harrison feel about a blood rot? Obviously, we know that he wouldn't like, uh, that he's not going to enjoy the frailty, but blood rot trip? I think Harrison just needs to be careful about his life. He doesn't want to go down too low, because he's not going to get a huge, if, if Declan can keep presenting these red and the ledger turns, Harrison needs to make sure that when he does have his big wide turns, they he can maximize his value on it. And if Declan is able to get Harrison down super low, super quickly, the game's going to be over before Harrison can do anything huge. Absolutely. So Harrison decided to take the seven from the Bolton shot. Declan using that Codex of Frailty, exactly as you said, Trip, bringing back the Red and the Ledger, puts it in the arsenal, plays that one out, has the resources to do so. Also has a under token as well, so he's going to be able to... Reload that arsenal. This is a really End bad this turn for Harrison. This is forced rough. Forced to whole hand block both these turns. He, well, not whole hand block, but, but forced to whole hand block the previous turn and then on this turn actually take a ton of damage and leave himself with just two cards. Declan here really showing us what Azalea can do. Okay, Harrison. Seeing what, if he can... If he can regain some tempo here coming in with the 100 wins three go again nice little opener obviously if he's not able to pitch to that blood rot pox token he's going to be taking two damage on his, at the end of his own turn here he's also got that frailty token as well from the codex of frailty so he's not going to be able to utilize those kadachis so he's taken seven damage to maybe not be able to present an awful lot back here. Declan using, utilizing the uh, Remorseless to 
to block out that. But what's the significance of uh, Warmonger's uh, diplomacy in this game, Trip? Well, Azalea really likes to buff the arrows, so the Warmongers is just going to make sure that Declan cannot buff anything on the previous turn with a, with a non-attack action card. Going to probably still choose War so that he can attack with an arrow, but it is going to limit what he can do. Let's see. Chose War. But he's still got the Enlightened Strike. Still able to present 7 damage. Enlightened Strikes time and time again. Showing us what raw efficiency is like. And flexibility as well. Declan able to choose either draw a card, plus two, or go again. At the cost of a card going to the Harrison bottom of his really deck. really leaking life very quickly in this game. This has turned into a big race very quickly. 14 but plays 31. make something happen with this turn. Surgeon Strike coming in for four, go again. Thirty-eight minutes on the round, but as you said, really turned into a race here. Declan having a think. Hands on face. I don't think we've seen much of Azalea in uh, uh, performing um, at nationals around the world in this. National season, so seeing and seeing Declan take Azalea to the to the top eight here at UK Nationals 2023 would be absolutely spectacular. Azalea fans will rejoice, I'm sure. Declan just maybe respecting the warmongers here, just confirming what Harrison's able to do. Maybe thinking about what difference a ancestral attack reaction would do here. As we said, both players trying to confirm their position in the top eight here. Both players needing a win. In order to secure that spot. It sounds like there's Azalea over in the Swiss uh, Nationals as well. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think that... Um... Oh, we do see the pommel. We actually oh, do see it. Oh, there's the pommel. So we've got the... Um... Declan was going to let this hit anyway. Now he's going to lose a card from hand from the discard effect from Pummel here. That's going to give Harrison space to try and push a lot of damage this turn. Yeah, and we saw Harrison pull this exact line as well against um, against the previous round opponent, against Nathan on that Dory Axe list, that spectacular Dory Axe list. Nathan was able to... And able Harrison to block it out. Another but... block here with the Wellman Gus. An age old combo line here. We're seeing folks who got surging strike into the Wellman Gus wave. Force a block. Declan not got much armor with which to try and prevent this on hit. Using those perch grapplers. Try and cover it up. Perch grapple is really good there to be able to block for five. Just make sure that the Harrison can't go over with the breaking scales. Okay, Harrison. Harrison was trying to claw back some tempo there and was very much able to do so. Declan having to discard a card as a result of that pummel. Really looking at his hand now. He's got a... Glide path in Arsenal, utilizing the cross wrap to have a look at the top of his deck. He's actually going to bottom that. Might be looking for some of those cards to watch that we showed you. Morseless red in the ledger. We've already seen red in the ledger utilized to, to good effect here. And with those Codex of Frailties, it's almost like he's got twice as many red in the ledgers in his deck. 
pitches to Remorseless. So Remorseless is pretty bad, obviously. It does mean that okay. Harrison will be taking a lot of life uh, if he does try to go wide. But it, it, it doesn't stop the turn necessarily unless Harrison is really low. So could potentially choose to play through it, but it's a tricky one. If he did take this, he'd go down to six. That means he can only play six actions, uh, six cards. Oh, wow. um, otherwise, he would die. Again, is this is this another situation, do you think, Trip? Like maybe two turns ago where you just drop your whole hand in front of this and say... I think I'm not Harrison's prepared to running take out damage. of time, I can't really. Do I, don't think he does, I don't think he wants to let Declan have another big hand. Yeah, another turning point in the game. Thirty-four minutes left on the round. Players of Harrison's taking a significant amount of damage here. Not able to utilize his life as a resource, maybe as much as he was able to in the last game. Yeah, absolutely. Neither player really got an awful lot of, I guess, usable equipment block available. The thing is, as well, as a lot of Harrison's cards block for two. So this is a really awkward one to block out. So if Remorseless hits, every action that Harrison plays will lose him a life. Really having to think about this, just how much life is he willing to lose here? And blocks with three cards, keeps one in hand, one in Arsenal. So it's okay. Takes the one. Down to 13. Just leaving Remorseless on the battlefield there. To remind everybody what's going on. Comes in with Kadachi. So he won't lose the life in the Kadachis, but if he plays a card, he will. Kadachi for one. We see another Codex of Frailty there. Declan's hand. Just consistently able to put the pressure on Harrison. Harrison really hasn't been able to catch a break at all in this game. Declan takes the one. Down to 22. Second to Kadachi. Declan maybe now having to also think about that mask trigger. Declan may want to cover this up, but Harrison's had to lose a life as a result of that remorseless hit for playing the spinning wheel kick from his arsenal. Obviously gaining the card from mask and momentum, he'll be able to uh, arsenal that. It's got to go again as well, like he might even be able to play it. Declan thinking about a block. Yeah, as we said, Declan's got that Codex of Frailty, right? So he'll be able to uh, bring back a red in the ledger. Again, every every turn we've seen a, a red in the ledger, we've seen you know, those Codex of Frailties, those Remorseless, really putting Harrison on the back foot. He's just not able to get a foot in whatsoever. Both players thinking. We've got 30 minutes left on the round. Plenty of time to make sure that this Declan's able to execute his this game plan to confirm his position in the top eight of the UK Nationals. We'll also be bringing you... Comes in with a fluster fist. Fluster fist for four. Presents for bringing Declan down to equal life totals, but having to take a damage himself, Harrison, in order to do so. We'll be bringing you the stand-ins day two of UK Nationals after this game, and we'll be able to confirm who it is that's made it to the top eight. Declan going to be able to do something big here, I think, with the, uh, the cards that he's got in hand. 
especially that codex. He can finish off with a red on the ledger. Harris will not be happy. Declan using Crossrap to look at the top card of his deck here. Thinking about swapping it out for the E-Strike with Azalea's ability. And he's just going to bomb deck that. Comes in with the E-Strike. Deciding what option to choose. Going to come in 5 go again. Go again. We're looking to use the death, deathly. Looking to use the death dealer after this in order to load his arsenal with an arrow. Harrison deciding what to block. Life total is still very close. Oh, we see him have to block with an ancestral empowerment. He's here. got a um, he's got a rain raises as well, but he might need to use that to pitch. Oh no, he's got a blue bone shot actually. Oh. The rain raises, and rain then the raises. codex, so make sure that he doesn't discard a card by playing out his full hand completely. This is going to be a red on the ledger for seven, probably. Also deals Harrison another frailty token. We've seen it yeah, time I mean, and time he's again. Any cards. He's, he's, he's probably going to have to block both of these cards here. Declan may be thinking he'd rather have like a, like a, um, a blood rot arrow or something just to push as much damage as possible here. Or force Harrison to block with armor. Chooses a remorseless. Yeah, I like that. When you think your opponent's just going to block with two cards anyway, there's no real point bringing the, the red on the ledger, I guess. Frailty for you. Ponder for me. Harrison just having a little look at what threats he maybe has remaining. I think he's been burning through a lot. He, he's maybe had to had to block more than he he would have hoped here. Trip. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. It's not gone Harrison's way at all. The disruption from Azalea has been really really strong so far. Declan's been in in the driving seat the entirety of this game. Twenty seven minutes on the round. Declan edging closer and closer. Although life totals are, are close. 13 plays 11 at the moment. Yeah, Declan, Declan did, take a bit of, take, did take a bigger damage to make this turn happen, but he's getting the reward from it. Harrison thinking about what he can do here. I guess he's thinking, do I want to go for it? Um, but if he surely if he takes the big damage here, he's in trouble. Oh, um, uh, Harrison's thinking about what cards to fetch from, um, sorry, trying to think about what cards to fetch from his grave to put in his arsenal because of the uh, codex, and he will have to discard one of his cards in hand as well. So Harrison's actually going to only have one card to block with here, and he's not really going to be able to play that card out from the arsenal without taking another hit from the remorseless trigger. Goes for the 100 wins, but might just want to leave that in there. Rather than wins. take the one. And then here comes the Remorseless. He's going to block for three. He's going to take two. Uh, four, sorry, with the Rain Raises, taking him down to seven. And if he does want to play out that 100 wins from the Arsenal, it's going to cost him a life. So he's probably just going to leave it there and pass. Take up his Tunic and pass, probably. Can't swing. No, got not any cards in hand, so... Yeah, it's just going to go straight back to Azalea, and we've got a thing. If Azalea is going to be able to get off some more turns like this, it's going to be game. We see okay. this fire sniping, the card we were talking about, and the cards to watch. Going to be able to maybe use that. Um, so, uses is, reveals a place with inertia. Scorebone cross so being utilized here. Yeah. And bottom deck does bottom it might load the spire sniping in order to look at what the cards are at the top of his deck. Plays the lace with inertia, activates death dealer. To no, play out the sleep the, dart, put the sleep dart and to load. Okay, 
Sleep He's dark. got an E strike in hand as well. Might be able to go five go again here. And then follow up with the sleep dart afterwards. It's a lot, a of, lot pressure. of pressure on Harrison. Harrison only on seven life. That's a lot of damage to, to be mm. facing at this stage in the game. He's even got a rabble. Rabble. Oh, red off the, top. The, the threats in Declan's hand here. Just so we're probably going to see rabble into E strike go again into sleep dart with the plus three buff from the lace. This oh, is going to be incredibly difficult. Harrison close. shot down. Eight, five, and four. Harrison's 17 staring. damage turn here. Harrison on seven. Harrison staring death in the face here. Declan looking to confirm his position in the top eight of the UK probably Nationals. probably live this, but it's a tricky one. Harrison sitting back from the table, assessing the damage. Four go again. Takes the damage down to three trip. Three plays 13. Declan taking a lot of damage in order to be able to come. out control here very quickly. This five and come goes in. He's going to have to double block this. Maybe he blocks with one card. Maybe he uses his mask. He's still got tunic to block. All of his battle worn is gone. Uses the bra braces of belief. Yeah, get that additional buff. He knows there's a red on top now. Maximize the damage that he can deal this turn. Why Uses Azalea. Yeah, gonna Azalea to bring in, in the dominated. Oh, it's not. It's a. Uh, it's another buff. Then he's got a Codex. Didn't even see that he had the Codex. Oh. There. Thought he might E strike. It's looking very bad for Harrison oh, here. Oh, remorseless. Plus three, plus three, plus two. I think that's On gonna be game. Me. I oh, know uh, Harrison took the took the four from the rabble. He might have this covered. Gonna have to give some equipment, surely. It's gonna be a lot of damage here. Thirteen. If Harrison wants to stay alive here. He does have a flip back in hand. It's the second the the, the second prone. pump. Yeah. What is that? Jeez, indeed, Draco. Yeah. Jeez, indeed. Didn't even have a combo to... If he'd had a combo, he could have done something with that flick flag, but did not work. Arsenal's the card off the ponder. And obviously, Azalea more than happy to Arsenal the card off the ponder. Azalea's ability allows him to remain flexible with that arsenal slot. Flips a rain razors. Look, looks at the top card of his deck. Declan really looking for the for the final blow here to Harrison's. Harrison's he knows he day. Have a defense react in Arsenal either. He loaded that hundred wins a while back. Plays out the rain razors. Giving all arrows plus two. Pitches to load a red in the ledger. Oh, premeditate. Lace with blood rot and rain razors. Another 30 damage. How many more turns of this can Harrison face trip? Harrison hand on face at this stage. Gonna block everything out. Having to block with a can. tunic as well. Tunic gone. Okay. Let's see. Declan again, assessing the options he has. Plays a knock, the death whistle allows him to go and dominate. It's going to come. Find a card. If he can get a buff and a dominated arrow, this could be game. As I said, Harrison really, Harrison really facing death right now. Sadly, I believe. These players are both teammates, so 
not what you want to see, but Declan really just laying into Harrison here. Another eight with Dominate. That's it. That's GG's. Game. GG's, GG's trip. Wow. And that is the final game of the UK National Championship Swiss. And Azalea is going to be joining uh, Dory in the top eight. Uh, Katsu falling short there. What a fantastic game, Sean. Oh. Getting to see Azalea really dismantling Katsu there. Completely different game to the previous one where we saw Katsu take control. Absolutely. Really fantastic stuff. Now we'll be... I think we're going to take a short break now. And then we're going to come back uh, with uh, the standings. And uh, we're going to let you know who is going to be in the top eight of the UK National Champions. We will be right back very shortly. Uh, but stay tuned Stick for the top around, eight folks. and the standings. Thank you very much.